this for purposes of demonstration. So number one, uh, you will, if you watch online, you will see a very fanciful house. Okay. Now that's not, that's not the essence of it. The essence of farming is beginning with what you have. Now, instead of this fanciful structure, the way it is, if I'm starting myself, I will, I will check and see the boundaries eh? and ask myself, uh, some guys, when you tell them about uh, goats, then they say, no, those things are crazy. Those things, those things are, are a nuisance. Eh? It depends how you train. Goats are like kids. So if, you're, if your goats are moving uh, in composition, usually say the, uh, we ran helter skelter. So if the goats are moving in different direction, it means your training of those goats is an issue. Yeah? So how do you make them to love you and to be close to you in a certain systematic way? by feeding. So when, the, when you're having those shrubs, you know goats love the shrubs. So it's, it's, like a, it's like a romantic approach. So the shrubs are the flowers. So you're supposed to at least hold the branch. Then the goat also feels that, ah, with this guy, uh, the, uh, this guy loves us. But you see, the moment uh, you're just, uh, you don't have that control, the control comes from them knowing that I can depend on this person for pastures, okay? So that's now where you create the bond with, with the goat itself. Now, for this structure, for me, I'll say, if I'm starting, I will first handle my first issue before stalking, I'll deal with the, with, the, with the boundary fencing and not just the barbed wire. So if I'm doing low budget, uh, instead, of, uh, instead of buying a seven feet chain link, I'll buy a three feet chain link, which is slightly cheaper. The seven feet is uh, above 5,500 which is 18 meters, all of them are 18 meters. So the moment I have a three feet structure, then the rest I'll use the Sengenge Ningombe, the, the normal barbed, because the main essence is I want to be able to manage those, uh, those goats in a, in, a, in a reasonable confinement. That is one. Second, I'll need another chain link to be able to manage uh, if I have new flock, which means we are saying we are doing the business uh, piecemeal, slowly by slowly. So which means I can have one batch of 10 goats, then another batch of 10 goats. So if I'm giving myself a monthly goal and saying, I, I don't want this job, this job stresses me a lot. The same way for me, I'm, I'm saying the way it was not stressing me, but uh, for me, I like challenging things. So if, the, if it becomes a daily thing, then it kills me. So a farmer, a farmer feels better when he hears the birds chirping in the morning. So I think that was the problem. So if that's what moves you, you get what moves you. From that, now you calculate, how many goats do I need? So if it's 300 goats, then you divide and say, how much can I raise per month? Then you do your savings. So now you have one area, uh, let's use that one. Entrance is there, then the quarantine area. The quarantine area should be at least 300 meters away from, from the main flock, basing on your wind direction because of the airborne uh, the airborne diseases angle. Then, once I have the quarantine area, because I'm on budget friendly, I will ensure that the quarantine area is my sick bay. Then a farmer must be very prayerful, so that now the sick bay is just for for glamorous uh, moments and quarantine. So that's why this area should 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 always be there.